What's up guys, so Final Cut Pro is here for the iPad. Finally, we've been waiting for this forever. There's a lot of cool new features, but I think there's pretty much just two features that kind of set this apart from any other um, application like Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or just using Final Cut on your computer. And I still don't think that this is gonna be, this is gonna replace most people's software that they've been using on their computer because people have been editing video for so long, it's not gonna replace what you're doing on your computer until they upgrade Final Cut. Final Cut eventually is gonna morph over to the Mac and I think that's probably the most exciting thing about this. In my mind, there's like these, there's two main features that kind of set this apart from other applications and that's what I want to talk about today. So feature number one, the first main thing that kind of makes this pretty cool is the fact that you can use your Apple stylus, your Apple pencil, and just do animations. You can draw arrows. I've been using DaVinci Resolve for a while and it starting out it can take forever just to make a simple arrow. Now people will go to school to learn how to do motion graphic effects and this kind of just makes it a little bit simpler for most people like probably like content creators that just need to do like a simple graphic effect but now you can do it on your iPad really easily with an Apple Pencil and so that's the key difference here. That's the main reason why I would say that that this is something you might wanna try or pick up just to make your life a little bit easier when you're illustrating. So that's the number one reason. And that's pretty much it. I mean, a lot of these features, you're gonna find them in any other program, um, Final Cut or Premiere or whatever. The iPad isn't that much different, but the fact that you can use the Apple Pencil to do illustration is pretty cool. Now, the second thing that I think is really cool with Final Cut for the iPad is the fact that now you can actually film directly into Final Cut. Now, this is a little bit annoying because most people don't film on their iPad, but all you have to do is hit the record button and you can put the video directly in your video timeline. So that is pretty cool, just the fact that you can go from the camera to the timeline so quickly because it is so frustrating to use a camera and put take the SD card out and put it in your computer and put it in a file and then upload it to whatever program you're using. Like that can just be annoying after a while, especially if you have to go back to the camera, re-record something, put it back on the computer. Like going back constantly back and forth can just be really annoying. And the fact that all you have to do is just hit record and it's on, uh, Final Cut, that's pretty cool. And I think that that's something that DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, they can do this, but they haven't. It's having an all-in-one interface. It's bringing, it, like it says, it's bringing everything all in one place. So you can just record and edit and go. The problem with being able to record from the iPad is that it's gonna be a little bit annoying to record on the iPad because you have to like record yourself, right? And then you have to take the iPad flip it around and you have to edit on it. So, I mean, maybe it'll work if you have like a big stand or something where you can just edit um, on the stand, but you're probably gonna want an external keyboard and an external monitor. And I think what would be really cool is if you could hook this up to an iPhone and just record from the iPhone and it goes directly imports into Final Cut. Um, but I don't know if that is gonna be like a future uh, feature. I don't see that happening. I see it just as the iPad, you hit record and it goes into your Final Cut timeline, which is really cool to have. I feel like all the other features are just kind of okay. They're not that impressive. And there are a lot of new things that are kind of cool, like there's new transitions. And I mean, the other cool features is they have this new cool jog wheel to scrub through your footage. And the last thing I noticed that they didn't include is they didn't include the ability to record with other creators online. There's no cloud platform. And what I think like is so cool about DaVinci Resolve is they've already incorporated this. You can upload, you can just start doing working on your footage. It will upload to the cloud automatically. And then wherever you are or whoever else wants to contribute to that upload or that workflow can easily do that just through the cloud. Apple hasn't 
implemented that and i'm sure that's something that may happen in the next year or next little while but that's something that they haven't included yet you can take you know you can just cut your body out and put any background on it which i think is kind of cool but that's a feature that davinci resolve already has so i don't see that as a huge selling feature but anyway it is really cool to see um, i'm excited for it and um, we'll have to see what people start creating with it all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks